hell did Johnson call us here at this early in the goddamn morning? I don't know. He said he's discovered something disturbing and frightful. I'll be disturbing and frightful tomorrow morning if I don't get some sleep. <clears throat> so, uh... I'm getting a new refrigerator. Oh! That's good. Yeah. It's black. Goes with the kitchen. Uh, what kind of doors does it have? Vertical or horizontal? Or... Vertical. Oh. Do you get less space with those? I, I think it's about the same. Uh, Lieutenant Salmon, Dr. Strinesburg, thank you for joining me. All right, Johnson, let's get to it. What's so important that you drag me out of bed at this hour? Gentlemen, I think I may have discovered something so horrifying that it could end the human race as we know it. For God's sake, man, what is it? I believe that our planet is currently being invaded and attacked by an army of men who are... Invisible. Invincible? No, invisible. That's unbelievable! It's unreasonable! No, it's completely undeniable! Where is your proof? Proof? Oh, Lieutenant Salmon. Can't you put two and two together? These men are invisible. So it stands to reason that all proof of them is invisible too. Aren't you following any of this? No, I'm extremely confused. Well, then what are all those papers and boxes for? Oh, those were just for dramatic effect. If these things are real, then where did they come from? Well, they came from Mars. How do you know? I've been monitoring the planet as part of my astrological studies. So you've seen them coming? No! They're invisible! Their spaceships are invisible! Everything about them is invisible! Their vehicles? Yes. Their food? Yes. Their women? Yes. Well, that must make things easier. Don't you see what's going to happen? If we don't act fast, our world will be overtaken by an unseeable army! Well, what do you propose we do? We need to assemble a highly skilled team of medical experts, scientists, military personnel, and all get together and try to find a solution to these invading, unseeable bastards. Sam, get the Secretary of Defense on the phone. Hector, this is the U.S. government. We have better things to do with our time than chasing things around that aren't even there. Uh, yeah. Be that as it may, I still believe we need to take further consideration into this matter. Alright, Johnson, I'm gonna have to see some more legitimate evidence to support these claims. Otherwise, I simply can't allow Dr. Strinesburg and myself to waste any more of our time here. Yes, Hector, like Kirk said, we are the U.S. government. It's very important that we get taken seriously. Yes, very important. You know... Now that you mention it, a friend of mine who works at the hospital uptown did tell me a story about a rather strange patient that they had last night. Uh, a homeless man was brought in, and uh, he was saying that he was attacked by a group of people, but he couldn't see who attacked him. What was his condition? Almost completely unconscious. From the attack? No, I believe he was drunk. Sounds like a completely legitimate witness! Gentlemen, let's not waste any more time here. To the hospital! Uh, where am I? Uh. Oh, where's that guy? He calls himself Philadelphia. Alright, guys. Let's just, uh, see what we can find out, huh? Hello there, sir. My name's Hector Johnson. What's yours? In Philadelphia. Very nice to meet you, Philadelphia. I understand you're a veteran of Vietnam. Vietnam! Yes, yes. I didn't go too young. But you know, I hear it was quite an ordeal. I don't have an extra shirt for you! Well, isn't that interesting? Come on, Hector, get to the point already. Alright, alright. Uh, hey, listen, Philadelphia. 
Uh, could you please tell me about the incident last night? Uh, who was it that attacked you? Charlie! Alright, let's make this easy, shall we? What did your attacker look like? Did he look like this? Is that what he looked like? Anything like this at all? Do you remember this at all? Did you see this? Did you see this? Did you see this person? Does he look like this at all? For God's sakes, Johnson, you're scary! What do you mean, aha? Every victim is afraid of their attacker. This is substantial enough proof to warrant action. But he's a drunken buffoon! But we can't just stand by and do nothing. At the very least, make the phone call. He's right, Kurt. At least see what they have to say. All right, all right. It's ringing. Hello, yes, uh, please connect me to the Secretary of Defense. Hello! Well, that certainly was a lot of obscenities. How are we going to combat the invisible hordes now? Hector, if nobody can see them, then nobody's ever going to believe you. Unless you've got some way of marking those see-through goons so we can see them. I got it! What? Maybe I was right. Maybe there are no invisible men from Mars.